Hey everybody, this is Pete, and in today's video, I'm going to do a quick hit discussion on an everyday topic in Inventor Extrude and how to do it more efficiently. You may not be aware, but you can actually execute multiple extrude commands from the same instance of the command. So what I'm going to do is just kind of walk through the traditional way first. So this is kind of like I'm a terrible math instructor. I'm going to show you the hard way to do it first. So I've got a sketch with multiple profiles and you don't have to always make multiple profiles, but it allows me to extrude everything at once. I hit OK. Boom, I've created the extrusion. Now the traditional workflow is you come over here, left click and drag and you can share it. And then I can extrude again. And then I go through the rigmarole of joining this. No, I want it to go that way. I want it to start here. I want it to be three quarters. And you could kind of go through that process and create those extrudes, but there's a faster way. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to show you a better way. So I can still do all the selecting, pick my extrude, but instead of hitting OK, hit this little plus sign and you apply it. And what that does is it creates the feature, keeps me in the command, and I can keep going. So you might be thinking, well, who cares? Well, I'll show you why this is important because if I hit apply again, I can do one more extrude, pick this plane, join it. Oh, it wants to go the wrong way. That's okay, figure it out. And then I hit okay. So I create my shape. Here's the cool bit. It shares the sketch for me. And then when I'm done, it also turns off the visibility. So it's all stuff I could do manually, but it's really slick to do that all at once using the apply. And then I don't have to do as much work at the end. So again, quick hitter today. Hopefully you find this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.